So first attempt at actual weathering, not just uh, not just scratching, but also doing some dirt using two different methods I saw. I'm using uh, kind of a, a wash method I saw from Evil Ted that's not uh, not actually making a wash, but just applying paint and then applying water directly to it. Uh, it's stupid subtle, but so far I think it's the, the best thing that I've got. Um, when I tried making an actual wash, which is, there's my remnants, um, using a, a mixture I found online from a bunch of uh, miniature painters, that didn't, uh, didn't work out real well. Like, it, you barely see anything. I did this whole area, and barely see anything. Um, and my silver paint, I noticed, doesn't show up really well. I mean, from from specific angles where the light hits, it's the only thing I'm seeing. I'm using this, this paint. I've tried two different versions of it because I thought maybe one was, you know, glossier, maybe more, you know, glittery than the other. So I think I just need to go back and get actual gray. I think the metallic part is what's screwing it up. Because I think they're almost more glitter than color. Because they look great from angles. But then when you get straight onto them, they, they kind of disappear. You don't really see it much up here. And then I tried a, tried a method I saw a zombie use. And I found her because I was looking for specifically power armor just to see how people had done it. And um, she does an acrylic, uh, not, not an acrylic wash, but she basically just covers everything in acrylic. And then she kind of buffs it off, you know, once it's kind of started to dry a little bit. I did not wait for it to dry very much. Once it started getting dry at the edges, I started buffing and it did not fucking come off. Just didn't do it. I mean, so it highlighted this crease real nice, but it did not come off. So I obviously cannot use this method. Um, I'm sure that it probably does work great, but I do not have the touch for it, at least not yet. Uh, I even tried, you know, wetting a sponge, a couple sponges and, and trying it that way as well. And it just, mm -mm, nope. So I did try it on the other side of, of this hard hat, and that actually looks a lot better. It stuck the plastic really well, but when I sprayed it on my actual spray paint, which is the finish of my Pip-Boy right now, it uh, didn't work out. So that looks cool. So I guess hard plastics, this might work out pretty well. Um, obviously there's natural grind, because I did use this hard hat for years. I mean, this is, this is concrete, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't paint, but this whole, this whole area right here is paint. So, and then this, this shit, this is happening to all of my, all of my stuff so far. You know, and I used, I didn't use the, you know, the cheapest hot glue I could find. So I'm not quite sure why my hot melt is, it's all coming apart. It's always after spray painting. So I'm not really sure what to do there when it comes to EVA builds. It's either this or paper lifting. That's my, my other common one. I've just been super gluing the paper back down, but I don't know. Yeah. Not sure. Oh well. Keep trying.